Welcome to Q&A Software, the GST compliance accounting software for your company. In this video, I will introduce the audit trail module in Q&A Optimum. The purpose of audit trail is to view the chronological sequence of records that contain evidence about a transaction process. Each record includes information about who created the record, with what on the transaction, on what date, and at what time. To view the audit trail, Go to Inquiry and click on Audit Trail Inquiry. The first filter is the date filter where we can narrow down the search by specifying the date of the changes that was made to the transaction. The Modify By filter allows users to search related records that was modified by certain users. The keyword field allows users to search the transaction that is related to a specific keyword. The data types filter allows users to select transaction that is related to modules or document type. Users can also filter transactions that was either created, modified or deleted by using the modification filter. In the advanced tab, the object type filter allows users to scope down their search to be even more specific based on the object type. The operation type allows users to filter based on more specific modification, creation or deletion operation. So let's try to check the audit trail. Now we would like to check if Simon has modified any transactions for the month of April. So at the date filter, select the starting date and the ending date. Then at Modified By, select the user code Simon and at the Modification, select Modified. Then click on Inquiry. And here are the results. Note that there is a grouping header here and we can group the results simply by dragging a column header here. The general tab will fit most of the user's needs. In another example, I would like to search the word PO2016-0401 in invoices. So I can select invoices in the data type. The system will search for the keyword in both the invoice header and invoice detail. In any situation where you would like to search only the invoice header, or only the invoice details, go to the advanced tab and in the object type, select either invoice detail or invoices. Now let's click on inquiry and here are the return results. So we can trace that the keyword P02016-0401 was added by the admin user into invoice INV00021 and was keyed into the reference number view. We can also double click the results and the system will show us the related transaction. Now let's say we would like to trace back a transaction that contains the word Mr. Sam. System will then show us the related transaction that contains the word Mr. Sam. From the results, we can see that the payment voucher was created by admin. We can click on the result and here is the payment voucher. In another instance, I would like to know the changes that was made to PV1604-058. So in the keyword, I type PV1604-058 and the data type, I will choose Payment Voucher. Then in the Modification field, I choose Modify. Then click on Inquiry. And here are the results. We can see the details of the modification at the description column. From this record, we can see that the reference number of this payment voucher was changed from 1234 to MBB 223556. We can also see that the tax exclusive amount of this PV was changed from 101 cent to 201 cent. The old value column shows the initial value and the new value shows the modified details. The modified on column shows the date of the modification. The property name is the field that was affected. Thank you for watching.